Wow, February is starting out very intensely. A lot of solar activity again, which is just penetrating deep into the cellular layers and activity within our body and it's releasing so much density. So here we go again with another accelerated run of healing. So you're going to be experiencing a lot of density coming up. You're gonna notice though that there is more mo momentum behind the energy and you're able to process it more quickly. I am experiencing a lot of deep healing program stuff, deep trauma that I've dealt with in the past. It's coming up now for me to look at it from another layer, from an even higher perspective. It's like peeling back the layer of the onion, right? We get to a deeper layer. We have a higher, more healed perspective. So we get to revisit this energy with, as an opportunity to alchemize it even further. So that's what's happening, but it is moving a lot more quickly. And you're going to find that you're able to navigate these wobbles or these energetic waves in the density that rises up a lot more fluidly and easier than you have before. Sometimes you may get caught up in your thoughts and your mind overthinking. It's important to remember to take a step away from what's happening. Take some breaths deep into the body. Feel it. Feel whatever is coming up and allow yourself to be present with it. It's such a powerful time. The energy is still there. It's still going to rise up within you, but it's just giving you an amazing opportunity to bring a deeper level of presence to it. As you do that, your frequency increases. You actually become more multidimensional. So you're going to start to notice more interactions with your multidimensional energy, your intuition, things like that are going to start to be stronger, more online. Maybe you're going to start to see energy and be aware of things that are happening around you that maybe previously were unseen. So your reality is certainly going to expand even further as we go through the month of February. I've been receiving a lot of heart chakra um, upgrades, just a lot of just presence and love and feelings of joy, even though I have a lot of heavy, heavy energy still coming up, things from the past I thought I had dealt with. There's a loving presence within me. There's a presence now that is more front and center, more aligned, that is really just kind of like navigating it more gracefully. Sure, I get tripped up on occasion, but I have the presence and the awareness to be able to step aside and regather myself. And then things seem to start to, to flow more smoothly. But I've been noticing a lot of heart chakra upgrades, a lot of um, throat chakra, third eye activations as well and crown activations very very powerful crown activations that is the connection um to the cosmos so you're going to start to to become more aware of that so get outside be outside in nature go outside at night kind of look up at the stars you may be surprised at what you see your guides are coming forward they are holding space for you and they are ready to make contact with you when you are ready and you are centered and present to allow that energy to flow through you so you can perceive it. There's also some lower you know, chakra activations as well in here. So it's kind of like running the whole gamut of everything. And it's going to seem like you're going to alternate between these symptoms and between these chakras, but that's okay. There's no need to really overanalyze it. Your mind will try to want to figure out what to do, where it's coming from. The most important thing to do is to be present and feel. And like I said, if you start getting stirred up in your thoughts, because your mind will do what it always does, it will start to overreact when things happen. Have the presence of mind to take a step out of that picture, out of that scene, and regather yourself. Breathe, ground, meditate. Take some quiet time. Whatever you need to do, even if you have a job or a career, you're really busy throughout your day, take a few moments here and there to separate yourself from that, to create that space, separate yourself from that energy, that 3D energy, and allow yourself to reconnect with your body to breathe. Okay, so we're really building this circuitry. We're being taught how to readjust, how to recenter within ourselves. That gives us the tools that are necessary to better able to navigate this dense reality. And as, as your, your dark, dark stuff, the shadow starts to rise up, You'll be better equipped to kind of just go with the flow. If you're getting caught up, you're going to know how to get back in the flow by creating that space and stepping aside. Be aware of your physical symptoms as well. If you're feeling back pain, things like that, 
whatever it looks like for you, shoulder tension, throat, neck, sit with that, breathe with it, allow the energy to release. It is trying to release these areas of your body lack consciousness and your body is showing you exactly where to focus. So you could use your breath to focus into that area. And again, you may find that you're getting triggered by things or maybe things are coming up. I've had some things happen for me that I thought were in the past that are now resurfacing. So I want you to look at that as an opportunity to see it and experience it from the new you, the higher perspective that again allows you to alchemize another layer, get even deeper into that emotional trauma and reclaim all that energy that will definitely raise your vibration. You'll start to feel more whole and more equipped to navigate the transition to the new earth that we are all going through. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. I'd be so grateful. Thank you so much.